Well, how do there, chums? As you can see, there's a new update to No Man's Sky, so I'm going to be jumping in and testing to see if it's fixed base rendering on my PlayStation 5. So that's what we're doing today, people, inside of the Viewerverse. Like, yeah. Okay, chums, as you can see here, I'll just update it right now. I get, well, actually, that's, um, not quite showing that yet, is it? I'll check for update then. Just to make sure that it's actually installed. Oh no, we've still got 20 odd seconds left. Forgive me. Okay, only a couple of seconds left now. I'm going to have a cup of tea here anyway. We can have a bit of that. Oh, we've also got an update for Towers of Agaspa. I understand they've done a lot of rebalancing in Towers of Agaspa. That's cool. Okay, well that'll be later today. Then we'll jump into there and see what's changed. But I know that they've got another update coming within like next week, which is pretty awesome. It's going to give you two hit combos and all sorts. Anyway, we're here to check out No Man's Skies. Let's jump on in, shall we? Let's have a look, see how things have been affected here. Probably going to have to move my camera set, this little set down here, down a little bit. There we go. Whoa, Nelly! It's like an elevator gone wrong. There we go. That'll probably do the trick. Right, I'll see you in game. Okay, chums. Oh, I was stuck on that star field for a little while there. Right, so this is my droid fishing farm. And as you can see, I can see quite a lot of base markers, which is pretty darn awesome. But I could anyway on this one planet. For some reason, this one planet was sorted out and working okay. Now, I have got a teleporter up here. I'm going to try teleporting over to my lovely, lovely Halloween base. I'm going to see if that works. Dang it! Work, portal, work! Right, okay, that's not working. All right, fine. I'll see you when I get there, people. Okay, right. Teleport into my Halloween base. Are we going to... Oh, I can see bases. I can see bases. Awesome. Look at all those purple dots. For Halloween bases and my Halloween system. Is my portal working here? No. No, it isn't. Right, okay. Well, um... I guess it's a case of heading out and going up to the station and seeing if there's any bases that I haven't toured yet. Well, here we go, chums. Let's head on over to the portal. I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised. Let's have a look, see. Right. Okay, so other bases. This is bringing all the bases that are near here. Ah, it's brought in all the ones from my droid fishing farm, first and foremost. Let's scroll on down. We've got droid fishing, droid fishing... Droid fishing. More of the droid fishing farm. <laughs> okay. All right. It's not really showing me much now, is it? Hmm. Okay. Phosphorus mine. The music man. I don't really know what this is bringing in. This is all cadmium mines and things. Uh, okay. Probably not the best. It's brought in everything and anything, hasn't it? I don't think these are from my... Halloween planet looking at some of the screenshots. I don't know where it's picking all these up from This is insane. That's just pages of the dang things. Oh, here we go. Here's some brilliant So we've got the anomalous shack. I've been to that Zulu's creepy water. I don't know whether I've been to that one I don't think I've been to that one. We might have to look at that one. We've been to the Bates Motel. We've been to the other two there J Death's base. I don't know whether I've seen J Death's base either Okay, let's have a look what else we've got. Yeah, we're going to the Witch Castle. We've been there. Okay, so I think there's maybe two bases that we haven't seen. So I'm just going to go to Zulu Creepy Water, firstly. Let's go there. And then let's go to J Def's base. Okay, so we've arrived, Decated. Oh, actually... Does this ring a bell? Okay, let's head on in. Yes, I think I have been here. I think this is the one with the giant spaceship launch pad. Yeah, this is the giant spaceship launch pad one that I really liked. Cool. Yes, I have been here. This is this is a very cool base. I don't think it's got a portal at it though. But this is this is looking really good on my PlayStation. This has rendered in loads, hasn't it? So the cool thing about this is you can actually take your ship off from inside of here and fly straight on out. Check this out. Watch this. Ready? 
Aperture out, and then you can fly out the door. Look, how cool is that? That is so sweet. Right, well, I'll see if I can spot J Def's base, and we'll just take a quick look at J Def's base. Okay, right, so if all of your bases are now working, people, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, notification bell, and all that sort of shenanigans. And I want to say a massive great big thank you to every single person who sounded off on my comments when I actually listed out this sort of bugs video. I put that video over to Hello Games with all of your comments, with like what platforms were affected and so forth and so on. And I feel that I had a massive sway in what actually came about fixing this. So normally you would send things over to the Zendesk, but what I would say is the developers actually hit me up. I actually communicated back and forth with them until we got this one sorted. Because at first this was a right head scratcher. They couldn't replicate it on their models inside of um, Hello Games. They even used a retail version. And in the end, they did manage to highlight what the issue was. They didn't share that with me, but they fixed it. They fixed it. I guess and that was with your help. Your help, people in the viewerverse. Anyway, let's have a little tour of this. Let's just go into your camera mode. Let's have a quick look at this from the outside. Yeah, I don't think I've been to this one. I like the use of all the junk outside and the use of the trees. And it looks like this might be nestled into a mountain. So it could be that, oh look, there is a teleporter on the side there as well. Pretty lovely to have spotted that. But I'm guessing once we've ventured inside of here, let's peer in through a window, that it might even go back further into the cave. I think it does, people. Right. Okay, let's head on in the doors. Let's see who lives in a house like this. Holy fudgenori. This is delightful, isn't it? Oh my days. It looks like an alien nest from the movie Alien. I've been watching all the Alien series. So we've watched from like um, Prometheus all the way up now to Alien Resurrection. And I think what I'm going to do next is probably watch the Alien vs Predator series. And then that takes us into the Predator movies. Because... Ivy hasn't watched them all. But yeah, oh, we started in Halloween. We're still going now. Freaking awesome. Yeah, if you haven't done that at home, all of the Alien movies are on um, Disney. Disney Plus. Right, okay. This is pretty darn freaking insane. Oh, I like the use of that sort of effect there. That's really groovy. That's the top of a flaming barrel. Oh, no, there's another one there. Oh, this is like an Aladdin's cape. Look at this. This is mental. Oh, wait. Wow, Lazarus. You've done awesome here. Lazarus J. Daff is one of the regulars to my live chat. He often pops by to say hello when I'm live or doing a premiere. There's some sack venom down here. He's got a few cable-y type things, a few trophies. He's got a couple of weird squid creatures roaming about. How deep does the tunnel go, people? Nice use of lights as well, where it's a little bit darker. Oh, this is groovy, isn't it? The Cave of Evil! Take that, devil bird! <laughs> uh, Ace Ventura, when nature calls. Freaking love Ace Ventura. Well, I like the second one. I wonder if I can just mm, top my hazard protection up there. No, that didn't freaking work, did it? Lovely job, Blake. There's a lot of uh, toxic plants in here. I think I've come to the dead end that is in this cave. There's a giant skull here. Oh, isn't that cool? And it looks like a giant buried snake creature underground. Awesome. i got one of those at my base. Freaking great. That is a lovely little tour of your little base, isn't it there? Lazarus J. Dev. Very cool. I'm liking your little cave of evil. Very awesome indeed. Very awesome. Now, I think I've toured pretty much all the bases that are showing here on this Halloween planet. Now, I invited people to build at this Halloween planet to give some people stuff to do over the Halloween period. I'm thinking about trying to find myself a lovely frost biome world. And doing the same for Christmas. Doing Christmas builds, you know, like log cabins, little grottos, Christmas signs, you know... Or anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be Christmas. I mean, I know that there's a lot of different religions and different aspects out there. I know I don't talk about politics or religion, but if you want to come here and put up some Diwali lights or something or whatever, you know, or just build something that's festive -y, you know, could just be a little log cabin like I mentioned earlier. It doesn't have to be anything grander than that. You know, it's for anybody to partake. Just come along and build something that fits a wintry planet. 
you know. But yeah, myself, I am a celebrator of Christmas. And I'm going to be building a Christmas themed base. Uh, what I build, I don't know. Um, but I will let you guys know in the view of us in very near future. Hopefully I'll have something set up before the 1st of December and then you can come on over and join me in building something cool and then every sort of, I don't know, every Monday maybe, I'll do tours. And I will tour the ones that haven't got WIP, work in progress, in the title. Okay, so that I'm going to be arranging. So now I've got to, you know, jump in my ship and fly back out and see if I can find myself a lovely wintry planet. I'm probably going to look for one inside of the NMSA 905 hub. If you don't know what that is, just jump on Google. Type in 905 hub, no man's sky, return. And you should find my wiki and my area of space. And uh, yeah, I'll find a lovely planet over there. Anyway, until that next video, salute Mondo if you've enjoyed this one. Like I say, hit all those buttons. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Off to drink the rest of my tea.